Hi guys. So, we have been invited back to the Sunward Aircraft Factory. We did a digger video, or a, a, not a digger, but excavators, diggers, pile drivers video for them a month or two ago. You will have seen that on our channel. And they were kind enough to invite us back to look at their aircraft factory. So yeah, that is where we are. In Changsha, China, actually just yeah. outside of Changsha, there's yeah. a small city where this factory is. Do, do, do you, do you? Um, this, something like that? I can't remember the name of it, but we, right in front of us here, which you cannot yet see, we can see about 20 two-seater aircraft, which are all pretty cool. Yeah. So let's turn you around and we'll have a little walk around them, shall we? Yeah, and, let's uh, do that. Show you about. Mm. Um, let us know where you're coming in from, if you're tuning in. We've got 40 in here already. Um, and we're just gonna tell you a little bit about well, we don't know too much about them. No, no, so. But, uh, but we've learned that they're all built from carbon fiber. And uh, we've seen a bit how, uh, but they are, they are pretty cool. Um, Sorry, you know. just, uh, just to ask, just let us know down in the comments if you can hear us so, uh, well. So okay. I'm gonna, is it okay if I sit in it? Stand here, right? Do not step on the flat. Yes. Okay, so I use this, this and then here. The okay, thank you. So I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a little sit in this one because it looks pretty cool. And uh, I'm gonna come around the other side. Yeah. So this looks. Uh, Hold on, I've got to get through this. This looks kind of pretty good. It's almost like being in a video game, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, are you gonna be flying it, are you? I am. <laughs> I'm in my Spitfire shooting things out of the air, you see. So look at so that. you got it's all, all the avionics here. And uh, this is just one model. They do, they do various models. Some have got bigger engines, some are more for sports and um, like acrobatics and things. And uh, yeah, you have, to, you have to be careful where you tread when you get out. So... I'm back Not out the now. Jump, have you? you have to be careful where you tread, but they, they have, what I was saying is they have different models. So some are like for sport, some are kind of to, to carry more designed to carry cargo and, and things like that. But yeah, they, they, they're pretty good. They're pretty cool. So, so Marvel Spider-Man asks, which company is it? It's a company called Sunwood. Sunwood Aircraft Company. And they make um, sort of big heavy machinery, uh, airplanes as well as well, they, they have one division that makes heavy machinery, like excavators and stuff, and then they have another division that makes aeroplanes. And someone's asked, what is the price? I have no idea. To I this. think they start at just over about 1 million RMB, which is about 100,000 pounds. And they go up to about, from, from the brochure I saw, they go up to about 1.8 million RMB, depending on the configuration you have. Trevor Norman. Hello, Hello, Trevor. Hi, Lee and Ollie. 8 a.m. in the UK. Stream looking good. Okay, so I think they can hear us all right. Yeah. We're going to keep this stream around about 15 minutes, just a short little teaser, because um, we're going to be doing something pretty exciting um, in the not so distant future, meaning in the next hour. What are we going to be doing? We are going to be going up in one of these planes, and that will all be in the video on the channel when it's. Uh comes in a couple of weeks time it will so make sure you watch out for that video because yeah. it'll be a good one I've never been up in a plane like this before I've only ever been up in commercial planes uh -huh. um, and we've got a woman pilot who's gonna take us up and she looks like she's from Top Gun yeah she's, she's, she's like got a, <laughs> she's got a cool sun a cool sort of sunglasses on yeah she's, and, she's, uh, she's, she's obviously you know well yeah, she, experienced. She's kind of the female Tom Cruise, isn't she? Yeah. So these are kind of more traditional style. And right behind us, this company obviously do some sort of training for airlines because this is a simulator here to simulate when you have to evacuate a commercial airliner. Okay, so that's mm -hmm. not a real plane then, though? No, no <laughs> that's not a real plane. Okay, I'm just so going to answer a couple of comments. So. Um, are you going to fly to the sky? Yes, we are. Small yeah. plane is more dangerous to fly. I imagine so, yeah, yeah. but uh, that's not going to hold us back. 
How yeah. can you two are still in Changsha? Well, we actually only came here today. Oh, you've got to be careful. Man. Yeah, yeah. There's a little bit over here that we're, we're not able to film, so I'm going to keep the camera sort of on us for a second yeah. until we get past um, that. We, we took the train here this morning and uh, we arrived, it was about three and a bit hours, something like that. Yeah, I was asleep and, the whole uh, way. We arrived here about quarter past ten. Train was just after seven o'clock. We arrived here at quarter past ten, and um, yeah, it's good. So uh, we'll be spending today and tomorrow here in Changsha, and then back to Shenzhen. Uh, Mexicanos in China says, "Will you be able to film on the plane?" Absolutely, we will yeah. be filming on the plane. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> Go I'm going to show these two first. Oh yeah, yeah. This one's one of my favourites in here. I think. Yeah, I like, I like the colours of this. I think it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? The yeah, colours. It does. I like that one. So, it's got, this one's actually slightly bigger. It's got, it's got the capability to have, to have five, five seats. Five seats. So you've got um, obviously the pilot and the co pilot, and then some, some um, other, other fitting in there. I think so, I'm yeah. going to have to learn how to fly one of and these. And this later. is a three propeller plane. Um, yeah, some of them are two, some of them are three, which yeah. we did ask about earlier. And there's a couple of differences with handling and things like that and weight proportions. Um, but other than that, there's not really that much difference. You've got, you've got one here that's not yet complete. It's got some gull wing doors on. Oh, that's got gull wing doors as well. I don't think that will be flying very far, do you? Yeah, there's no engine in that yet, is there? <laughs> that ain't uh, going to uh, yeah. fly through the sky very nicely just yet, is it? Do they have a vertical landing plane? Um, not as far as I'm aware. I don't know what a vertical landing plane They're is. They're like a Harrier. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't think they do. Um, I, think, I think these are kind of sort of planes for small cargo, and they actually have a drone version that a big... There's like a big delivery company here in China called Shenfeng. They're a bit like a DHL or a, you know, a, a parcel delivery company. And they actually use drone ones and they can carry up to 500 kilos of payload. There are quite slim air corridors. Say that again because we're just disconnected. Yeah, so it's, it's not actually used by the military, but it's reserved for military use. So they open up a number of smaller air corridors. And that's sometimes why there's a lot of delay on commercial flights in China. <coughs> I've got so some we, little we've been given a bit of a, LED lights there. Look. We've been given a na <coughs> narrow window. Uh, at half three, I believe, to go up um, and have a little fly around. Uh huh. And I'm going to be telling our pilot she needs to be doing loops, she needs to be doing barrel rolls, yeah. the lot. <laughs> loops and barrel rolls, yeah. Loops and barrel rolls. Loops and barrel rolls. like this in the air. <laughs> it's going to be ace, an ace. Ace. We just went in there. So that building just across there, and we were able to see sort of um, a bit of production, yeah. which will, I believe, be coming on the video. Yeah, yeah, we, we'll have some production on the video. So yeah. that's one you need to be looking out for, okay? <coughs> because that's going to be quite an interesting yeah, video. Awesome. I like this. I like this blue and silver one. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. It's, nice, it's got some decent is. colours on that one. Yeah. Let's have a look at a couple of comments. So basically, this, this factory, they can make up to 300 of these a year, which is just, just a little over, just a little under one a day, which is pretty cool. Well, for, is. for work days, maybe it's more than one a day. <coughs> yeah, oh yeah, because of holidays and that, uh, have got to be... Uh, um, just to ask everybody, if you are watching this stream, I can see 50 likes but 180 watching so if you wouldn't mind dropping us a big thumbs up that would be massively appreciated mm -hmm. as it does help us get out there in the algorithm it does yeah and uh, it does help more than you you imagine yeah ba babium no that's the spirit hit the like button please love to see thank that thank you very much oh we've got one coming through look. oh yeah are oh, they actually pushing it through these are because they're made of pretty much all the body is carbon fibre. They're pretty light. So it's, as you can see, they're, they're not having to bust a gut to push that. Once they've got oh, no, it rolling, no. it's... Uh, pretty easy look. Yeah. So you say these start at about a million yuan? Yeah. That's like 
100 <coughs> grand, 20 grand, That's not like, that yeah. much, actually. No, I thought no. there was going to be a lot more than that. Yeah, the, fr from the brochure I saw, the, the cheapest ones are about 1.2, 1 million, 1.1 million, up to like 1.8 million. Um, it just depends what configuration of engine and stuff you have. There's, there's a lot of different configurations, basically. Um, now we'll, we'll keep this going for a, about five more minutes. So if you want any of your friends to see some cool planes, do hit that yeah. share button. And, uh, and what I want to do is head round, back round there to have a look at the drone, um, the drones that they had on the floor. Um, just uh, over there on the floor. Oh, OK. Did yeah. you see those before? No. Yeah, these are finished yeah. ones. These are they're OK. So any questions, ask away. <coughs> Francis Christine says, amazing, all these wonderful, sleek looking one seater planes that look like drones in the hangar. These are actually two seaters, most of them, I believe. But yeah, they are very cool, aren't they? Yeah, I, th I think they go from kind of one seaters up to sort of five seaters. Um, this is not theirs, this is a, an original Cessna. It's a what? This is a Cessna. Okay. No, it's not theirs. So yeah, they have some. <coughs> Actually, this this one here, right? This this this, this here. This camo one. This camo one. There's a. This is the one I was talking about. The parcel delivery company uses. It has a payload of up to 500 kilograms, and it flies completely autonomously. That's um, mad, isn't it? So the that parcel company here. There's a big parcel company called Shunfeng. They were an express parcel company. And they use them from taking them from bigger regional airports to small sort of airports. You know, they might put like three or four hundred kilograms of parcels in there, send it from one airport to another smaller airport. Someone says, is uh, L Razy says, is this DJI 2.0? Well, it's <coughs> they do drones as well, DJI. Yeah. However, some would tend to focus more on the commercial drones, uh, yeah. whereas DJI place a lot of their focus on the uh, consumer market yeah, so, so you, he's a drone like we, we have a very small one which is probably you know it can fit quite nicely in your hand uh, or in your backpack whereas these you're not going to be getting in your backpack stand next to it for a bit yeah of, so this this just gives you an idea of of the size you know these are that's like your arm span these almost. are fairly big pieces of kit oh god that is so light i thought it'd be way heavier than that really yeah it's obviously all carbon fibre. And then you've got these little... I've this is something I've never seen until today. Little drone aeroplanes. A drone aeroplanes. Yeah. Why, so what, I, don't, I don't know why they would I think it'd be aeroplanes. to deliver stuff into maybe dangerous situations or stuff like that, maybe. I don't, I don't know. Medical supplies to, to people who are trapped, you know, stuck on a mountain or something. I don't know, maybe anything. So... They're pretty Don't cool. tell Trump or he'll sanction this company. <laughs> oh dear. Uh -huh. Oh, but this is a nice one over here, Ollie. That looks the business, doesn't it? ZY Cherry coming in from Shenzhen. We've just left there this morning. <coughs> Mark Jackson says maybe medical supplies in Africa. Yeah, that's a that's a good point. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. We're going to be zooming up in one of these. We're going to be getting the production line filmed either later today or tomorrow, I think. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah. And they will be upcoming videos on this channel. Um, we've pretty much shown people around yeah. the uh, showroom now, so we will come to wrap this up. It's good to see over 200 people in here yeah. for a quick little live stream. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you coming in. And yeah, keep an eye out for the video. We will be heading back to Shenzhen tomorrow evening. And until then, hope you're all having a good day, good evening, wherever you are. We will see you in the next one. Take care for now. For now, take care as always.